athlete finishing a marathon takes special grit and willpower. <laughs> that wasn't a marathon, though. But this morning, that was a horse. <laughs> there you go. But this morning, people are still talking about. It was a marathon. Yeah, that's a, a mile marathon. and a half. A mile and a half. <laughs> about one amazing competitor at San Diego's Rock and Roll Marathon. We heard this week how she broke the record at the age of 92. We wanted to know more about her. So now Mark Streisman, Mark Strassman is his name, introduces us to the North Carolina woman. <laughs> Runners usually race against the clock. But in San Diego's marathon, Harriet Thompson defied time for more than 26 miles. And I kept hearing, go Harriet, go Harriet. I mean, I don't think there was anybody there who didn't know who Harriet was. They cheered her at the finish line after she ran for seven hours, 24 minutes, and 36 seconds. At 92, she's the oldest woman ever to finish a marathon. I remember seeing this stuff falling down. They had confetti, like Lindbergh. I, I had a ticker tape <laughs> reception, <laughs> and it was fun. It, that was a complete surprise. Harriet didn't run listening to an iPod. She played music in her head, Sergei Rachmaninoff's prelude in D major. And this is what got you through the race? Yeah. <laughs> and then some very fast pieces, too. <laughs> like. She's a classical pianist who for decades performed around the world. Playing a concert, she says, is harder than distance running. It takes more discipline, even when you've set the record as the oldest female marathoner in history. Does that matter to you? Not at all. <laughs> this isn't a story about running. It's really a love story. Yeah. It is. Did you think about him during the race? Oh, he's with me all the time. Yeah. He is Sidnor Thompson, her husband of 67 years. But cancer also runs in this family. Sidnor died from pancreatic cancer this past January. Their son, Sidnor III, has colon cancer. Harriet herself is a two-time cancer survivor. Those stockings on her legs covered open wounds from radiation treatments. Since 1999, she has run this marathon 16 times and raised $100,000 for the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. I want to think, I'm going to do it. I don't think I can't do it. I'm going to do it. And that helps, you know, to be positive. You're still running marathons. Well, one a year. <laughs> I'm going to have a hip replacement next week. Some people would say, what is wrong with this picture? <laughs> <laughs> but in a couple of weeks, you'll be all right. So if I get the hip fixed with the right attitude, will I be running marathons at 92? Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> Never fails. <laughs> if she's still able, her goal is to race again in San Diego next year when she's 93 and set another marathon record for the ages. For CBS This Morning, Mark Strassman, Charlotte. There's a role model. Right. Just awesome. goes to show you. I liked like, her before. I love her now. Like everything about her. Everything. <laughs> everything about She's her. It's a hot babe, too. Yeah. Yeah, back in the we'll day. we look at the most unforgettable moments of the week coming up. Nice. More real news. That's our promise to you. CBS This Morning.